Hi babes, what's up? Okay, so for this video, I decided to go in with a good outline, obviously. I actually see videos, or I know people who don't even do an outline for their painting. They literally can just go in and start painting. I'm not one of those people. Well, I'll just say I'm not there yet. So, I will get there someday, but for right now, I like to do a great pencil outline. And in this video, I try to show you guys some of the paint I use, because I use three to four different paints. Also, um, I did not you know, put the paint in the, um, like the little white thing that holds the paint, the paint holder or whatever. I did not decide to put the paint in there before the video because normally I get so excited about what I'm going to be painting that I literally put the paint in there first and then by the time I get to the actual painting, it's dry. Because it does take me sometimes about 30 minutes to an hour to draw out the whole picture. So right now, I am doing a black outline. In my last video, that I uploaded for painting. I don't think I did a black outline because I was trying to challenge myself because you can't get better if you don't. But I really like doing a black outline. Last time, I think I waited until I was, you know, done with the painting and then did the one black line. But, you know, I really like doing a black outline first so I know what my lines and guides are. Uh, with the lips, I decided to do an orange, pink, and white mixture for the lips. And it actually came out better than I thought. Sometimes the lips are too pink or sometimes they're too pale. But I guess, you know, people's lips are different colors anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Right now, I'm doing the outline for the bandages. And I put a darker red where the eyes were because when I was looking at images or um, ideas for this painting, it looks like at the very bottom of the eyes where they sink in, it is a very darker red because that's mostly where all the blood is going to be. So I tried to put a darker, heavier red. Now I did mess up with putting a black outline where um, the blood was going to be pouring down. That was my mistake. Oh, that was a rookie mistake to put a uh, black lining where you know you're going to have to paint over it. That was, but that was my mistake. But um, still, I absolutely adore this painting. I love how this painting came out. I will be doing a painting just like this. Now, although I have paintings that look similar, I never like doing the same painting. I never... I know like the backgrounds of my paintings look the same and a lot of my paintings are skulls, roses, ripped open heart, bloods, crying, da da da. Like I know they look similar, but every time I go into a painting, I have an entirely different idea, an entirely different emotion, a different vibe, a different feel on how I want to do the painting. But this painting, I enjoyed the concept and the um ideas so much, I am going to do a painting exactly like this obviously like details as such as the background and the hair will be different but i will be doing a painting with the bloody eyes bandages idea again now like i said um i do really i really tried to put emphasis on like it being darker at the very bottom so you could see that's where majority of the blood is at the end of the video i do have a picture and i will explain when i get there Oh my god, the skin tone. I, I wanted to do the skin tone about two different shades as well as I did the hair. The hair is three different colors. It is a reddish brown, a light brown, and a darker brown. And it came out so pretty. I absolutely love the hair. I love the skin color. I love the lips. Everything came out really good, but I still am looking forward to redoing this painting. Okay, right now I'm going in with the face, and you guys know if you've watched my other videos, I sporadically paint. I will start painting the hair, and then start painting the neck, and then I won't finish the neck and just start painting the face. And I decided I wanted it to look more solid, and I needed to get more professional and more, um... I needed to start doing it piece by piece. So I really just worked on section by section by section. That does not mean I will stop painting sporadically, but for this painting, I wanted it to be as, you know, very, I wanted it to look really, really good. So I wanted to change up how I paint and how, you know, I go from one place to the next and then this paint has dried and another paint has not dried. Oh well. Okay. So going along the lining of that, it wasn't, I wasn't too worried because that's the whole reason I love doing a black outline first because I'd never worry about it getting on the outline because honestly, like you're going to do a second outline. 
<clears throat> normally I tell you guys to change your cups or I'd like to change my cups one not one like literally like two to four times maybe like three solid times when I'm painting I use the same colors like I use literally the same colors it's red it's brown it's black I did put white um in the bandages because like like I said before although canvases are white I feel like they're not as like they're not white white and um pencil markings like when you're drawing your outline when you're first drawing on the canvas it smells so like mine do like and my hand gets all over it, like it smells so bad so i have to take a i have to go back and paint like white areas that i need white i have to go back and paint all that and it only it only gets it in the first coat but then you know you have sometimes where you have to hit it again in the second coat i enjoyed this painting so much i literally i already can't wait and i will do another voiceover and i will do another um I will do a whole nother video for it. I think I need to start painting guys. I've never painted a guy. It's always women this, women that. I want to paint a boy. I'm so excited. My next painting is going to be a boy. I've looked it up. I have the idea. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This just came out so good. I was so proud of this. I know it's creepy, but all my paintings are creepy. So, I mean, that's what it is. I like like that Tim Bolton shit. I love that Tim Bolton shit. I love like the dark, the smooky, smooky. Wow. The spooky, the eerie. I love all that creepy shit. So it is with this. Um, I tried to paint happy stuff. Like I tried to paint, I tried to paint like happier stuff. Like, oh, people are laughing and people are smiling and da da da. It just doesn't interest me. And honestly, I cannot paint something that really doesn't interest me or sparks a po like spark something in my curiosity or like, you know, it's something that just doesn't interest me. My heart's not going to be in it and the paintings come out shitty. Because some people like, you know, you need to paint more happier stuff. You need to do this. You need to do this. And it's like, you can't tell an artist how they should do their work. Like you cannot. If I don't have it in me or the vibe or the interest to paint somebody who's smiling or to paint bubbles and and, you know, I paint sunsets and shit, so it's like, you know, I, I switch it up a little bit. But, like, stuff like this, I just love it. I will always paint stuff like this. Like, that's just how it's going to be. If one day I wake up and I want to do a different vibe, then so be it. But my passion is this type of art. So, that's what interests me. I mean, like I said, I do have, like, an occasional painting where it is, you know, the outlier. But, I mean, I wouldn't look for it. Like, I wouldn't look to see outlier paintings a lot because I just enjoy paintings like this. And as classic as my classic blue background, blue and purple. Um, I almost didn't even do a background for this painting because I'm like, her hair completely covers one side of it. So why would I do, you know, why would I do a background? Like, would it even look right? Would people not understand that it's a background? But I was like, no, they'll understand that her hair obviously covers one side of it. So there would be a background. I almost left the background white because I kind of like that, like, feeling of it. But then I was like, if I leave it white, people might confuse it with the bandages. And I don't know. So I just wanted to make it, like, as clear as possible. I just wanted to make it as clear as possible. The nose gave me a lot of problems. Like, it, I know, like... Obviously, you could, you know, I sped it up, obviously, but drawing the nose took me 20 minutes, 20 minutes. The whole, this whole painting took three hours. And yes, I was looking at my phone and I was, you know, doing things like that and fixing things, but it took me three hours to draw this and the concept and really try to figure this painting out. But I very, very much enjoyed this whole painting. And like I said a million times already, I'm going to repeat myself, I will be doing this again. And I'm going to, I really look forward to doing this painting again because I can compare myself and I can strengthen my weaknesses. I'm so excited to do this painting again. I really, really enjoyed this painting. It was so much fun. Uh, right now I'm trying to do like an ombre down the sides. And when I have too much paint and I don't want to waste it and it can't go back in the container of which it was, I literally paint it on the sides, which helps. Painting on the sides of your paintings helps because then, like, sometimes there'll be a white spot. Oh, these are the um ideas, obviously. This is the idea of which I got the painting for. But painting on the sides, it really, really helps. It helps. And this is the painting. I love it so much. 
It came out so much better than I thought. I did not know how it was going to come out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you babes so, 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 so much. I really, really appreciate the support. Mwah.